Hello and welcome to the Drug Safety Demonstration. The Drug Safety Application compiles data reported through the FDA's Adverse Event Reporting System. The FDA provides this data on a quarterly basis. By uploading these files into ClickView, users are given the opportunity to view the data reported over multiple years in a single user interface. In this example, we'll look at the Drug Safety Application through the eyes of a physician. So let's get started by heading over to the Incident Rate tab. In this example, I am a physician and I just diagnosed one of my patients with rheumatoid arthritis. The patient is a 60-year-old male who is not taking any other medications at the present time. I have a list of disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, also known as DMARDs, that I can treat my patient with. I want to see if any of those drugs pose more of a threat than others. So to start my search, I'm going to head over to the Incident Rate tab and get started. Now that I'm on the Incident Rate tab, I want to search for three DMARDs. These drugs include Flexeril, Lyrica, and Plaquenil. To start my search, I'll go over to the Drugs list box and click on the search icon. First, I'll start typing in Plaquenil and then I'll select it. Next, I'll search for Flexeril and before I select Flexeril I want to hold down the control button so I can select multiple drugs at the same time. So now I have Plaquenil and Flexeril. The last drug I want to search for is Lyrica so I begin to type in Lyrica. Again, holding down the control button, I can now select Lyrica along with the other two drugs. Now that I've narrowed my search down to these three drugs, I want to take a look at the reported incidents per 100 days chart to see if I can find out any trends for these three drugs. Before we dive into the chart, let's take a look at the axis and what's being calculated. On the x-axis, we could see that the number of events is being reported, and on the y-axis, interval days. Interval days is a range that is calculated by taking the time between the most recently reported incident and the oldest reported incident. Gray dots indicate the drugs that have a less than 10% reported serious event rate, and orange dots show the severity rate over 10 percent. So if we look at the three drugs we can see that the drug Lyrica has an incident rate of almost 98 incidents per 100 days whereas Plaquenil's incident rate is 33 incidents per 100 days and Flexeril is the lowest at 22 incidents per 100 days. So we can rule out like Lyrica because it's too high of an incident rate. So let's take a look at Flexeril and Plaquenil. So first we'll take a look at Flexeril. Let's select that in the reported incidents per 100 days chart. Now let's head over to the demographics tab to see if our patient falls into any high incidence by demographic categories. Once on the demographics tab we can now start selecting the demographic for our patient. We know that he is a 60 year old male so if we look at the incidents by age chart we can select the 41 to 70 year range. After selecting the 41 to 70 range we could see there were 2015 incidents reported for that range. Next we'll head down to the incidents by gender chart and select male we can see that there were 431 incidents reported for males between the age range of 41 and 70 years old. And of those 431 reported incidents, approximately 49 were fatal, 4 were reported as life-threatening, and 197 required hospitalization. The severity rate in our demographic was 12.3% which is higher than the 10% threshold that we've set. Next, we'll take a look at Plaquenil. 
To do this, let's head over to the Drugs List box and again, using the search icon, select Plaquenil. After selecting Plaquenil, we see that there are 286 reported incidents in our demographic. Of those 286 reported incidents, approximately 21 were fatal, 12 were reported as life-threatening, and 111 required hospitalization. The severity rate is lower than that of Flexeril at 11.5 percent. Because the severity rate is lower with Plaquenil for our demographic, I'm going to prescribe that for my 60-year-old rheumatoid arthritis patient. So in conclusion, we started out looking to prescribe a DMAR drug for our 60-year-old male rheumatoid arthritis patient. We identified three potential DMAR drugs that we could prescribe. And after filtering the data based on our demographic, we identified that Plaquenil was the drug that we would prescribe to our patient. Proving once again that ClickView simplifies analysis for everyone, everywhere. This concludes the demo.